my name is Rainy. Yes, Rainy, like rain from the sky. It's my real name, and that's a cap. And I wanted to start this channel into the Rainy verse to discuss a topic that is very close to home because it's something that I'm currently dealing with. And it's also a topic that I noticed isn't really talked about on this platform. I briefly searched it and all I could find were doctors talking about it like medically. I couldn't find a person actually going through it discuss it. And that topic is infertility. I'm saying it like that because I'm trying to make it more light, but it fucking sucks. Yeah, it sucks, really. And so this video is probably going to be uh, multiple parts. I don't know how many. I'm hoping like maybe two at most, but we'll see. So in this part, I want to talk about, I guess, the introduction into my infertility and then how frustrating it is, which is going to be basically what this whole entire video is about. So I'm technically infertile. That it means that I will not and probably will never be able to have children naturally. Meaning that I'm going to have to take the science route to conceive. And while that seems simple, it's really not. And while that seems like a bright light at the end of the tunnel, it's really not. It's just an option and it's an option that may or may not be positive. What I mean by it not being the most positive thing is because there's always a chance that it's not going to work. Um, there's a 25% chance that a perfectly healthy human will have a baby naturally anyways. But when you have to go IVF and artificial insemination and surrogacy and sperm donor, all that medical science-y stuff, it cuts that chance like in half. So it's so thin of a chance that anybody's going to be able to have a baby that way so it doesn't always make it positive it is somewhat comforting to know that 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 there is an option that can move me forward to having a child with all that being said i'm probably going to have to go the ivf route but i'm not going to talk about that in this video because i'm still on my journey the ivf journey and it's a long process and it'd be literally a whole nother video so what I'm going to get into now is how frustrating, which is what I said this whole video was basically going to be about, how frustrating it is to tell someone that you're infertile, not even just nowadays. I'm sure it's been like this forever. It's just that nobody talks about it and how like they respond or the things that they say. And I don't think that they always realize what they're saying is kind of not as positive as they're trying to make it sound. I get it if you don't know what someone's going through as in you haven't experienced it, you're not really gonna know what to say or how to say it. So the only thing that you can say is something positive and uplifting. And that's not what I wanna hear as someone who is struggling to have a child. Now to give you a little bit of a backstory, I don't wanna have a child because I'm a woman or because society dictates that because I am a woman and I'm married and I'm at a certain age that I should have children. I don't believe that every woman's goal and desire in life is to have a child to feel fulfillment. It's just me personally. And I honestly never thought I was gonna have children. Like I grew up in a huge family with older siblings who had children. So I have lots of nieces and nephews and I became an aunt at like 15 or 16. I have younger siblings and I've dealt with children my whole life to the point where as I was growing up, I was just like, I don't want kids. Kids are annoying. I don't want them. I'll never want children. And that just changed one day. And it mainly changed because, and it's gonna sound stupid or cheesy, whatever, whatever, when I met my husband. He is just this great man. He's fantastic. And I love him so much that, you know, I was just like, oh my gosh, I want to have a child with this man. And I don't know if it's like primal instincts kicking in or what, but I was just like, oh my gosh, I want to have his baby. <laughs> That's just kind of how it was. I was like, I feel safe, comfortable. I want to bring a child into this world. And 
I didn't want to admit out loud just yet that I wanted to have a kid because I was kind of also afraid that the moment that I said it out loud and made it real that I wasn't gonna get it and <laughs> the universe works in mysterious ways or kind of like crappy ways and I found out that it wasn't gonna be as easy as it is for some people yeah it's not gonna be that easy for me and my husband to have children because we both have issues he has stuff going on and I have stuff going on and I'll get more into those issues in another video but we're basically two perfect damaged peas in a pod that's how I always like to look at it anyways so getting to the main part of why I wanted to make this video I'm a very closed off person to where I don't like to talk to people about what's bothering me. You can just ask my husband. I'm just like, it takes like everything just like for me to open up. I do talk in, to him and open up more to him than I do anybody else. And I'll vent to him my frustrations when it comes to our infertility journey. When other people put in their little, you know, little their little bit and he gets it and understands it as well so i really want to talk to somebody i mean as of right now i'm not 100 percent sure if i'm talking to anybody i'm just looking at myself in a camera and i'm hoping that somebody will eventually be on the other side of that camera and this is just going to be a good way for me to express what i'm feeling and mainly it's just i'm angry i'm really angry and that's what i need everybody to know and most women and men who are infertile are angry. We're not okay. No matter how much we say we're okay, we're not. And we definitely don't want to hear, oh, you can keep trying. It's fine. We don't want to hear, well, maybe you're not meant to have children. Maybe there's another path for you. We don't want to hear that. I also don't want to hear when I tell someone that I might have to go IVF that they're just like, well, that's so expensive. Are you kidding me? Well, maybe you should just wait to have children naturally because it could still happen. What? And that's not okay. Every day that I wake up, I'm fine. But then children pop in my head and I'm not fine. And it's like the same process of when you lose a loved one, you know, you move on with the day, but then something reminds you of them. And then you're pretty much grieving all over again for that person. I have to grieve the loss of something that I will never have, may never have every single day. And it's just like the grieving process. You know, I'm angry. I just sit there and curse whoever's listening up there and then I'm like okay it's fine you know I get positive and then I get depressed it's just that process and it's not okay for someone who has had children and who didn't have any issues having kids who heck didn't even plan on having kids they were just fortunate enough just to be blessed with a child to tell me how I should feel that's not okay you do not know what I am going through, what my husband is going through, what it has taken for us to not break down every second of the day because we can't have children as easily as the majority of people. And don't even get me started on people who might offend some people and I'm sorry but who should not be having children and how easy it is for them to have children because that's what we go through people who are infertile we get so angry at everybody we sit there and go oh she's pregnant why can't I be pregnant oh they did this and I'm better than them or whatever you want to say but I can't have a kid and they are blessed with a kid you some really dark thoughts start popping up into your head especially if it's like family or someone really close to you and they have children or they announce that they're pregnant it's like getting stabbed over and over and over again no i've never been stabbed so i can't describe that pain as being stabbed um it's like hmm I've been hit in the head with a chunk of ice before. It's like getting hit in the head with a chunk of ice over and over and over and over again. It's just like the worst pain that you've probably ever felt. 
and it's just constantly happening happening and you want to be happy for them but you, at, like deep down you're like well they already have a kid why can't I just have one and they're on their third kid or you know they have children and they're not even the best parent why do they get another you know you just start you start being so negative and it really makes you think oh my gosh am I a bad person because I keep thinking these things but it's because we're hurting we don't really mean it when we think those things but we have no other way to grieve it's like I said it's the same way when you lose someone you go well their such and such is still alive but mine's not like you know they're not it's just the only way I can describe how how terrible it is. It does make you question like, well, did I do something wrong to make it where I shouldn't have children? And I hate when people say certain things that try to comfort you. You're so good with kids, you'll make a great mom. That one probably hurts the most, especially when someone says that when I don't have kids and they know that I'm in the process of trying to have a child and I can't and they're trying to be comforting like oh you're gonna make such a good mom that really I don't know what it is about that but it makes me so mad because I get it they're trying to be positive and encouraging but at this moment in my life I'm just like let me suffer let me be angry right now I don't want comfort. I just want you to say, wow, that really sucks. Wow, that blows. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. Yeah, infertility really sucks. You know, don't say, well, I have a friend who, I don't care. And I don't care in that moment. All I care about is how mad and pissed off I am right now and I just want you to be like okay you be mad and pissed off because this really fucking sucks that's it that's all I really want someone to say to me when they find out or when or that they know that I'm infertile and they're just like how you doing how's that going and I'm just like oh it's you know it's slow it sucks I don't want them to say oh it's gonna happen I just want to go wow that freaking sucks <sighs> Sorry, I get really angry and worked up about this. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that video. I know it was kind of chaotic and all over the place, um, but it was my first video and I'm going to try to get better at mapping out what I want to talk about. It's just that, as I said, when I get talking about this subject, it makes me mad and I just want to keep going and going and going. So maybe in the next videos, I'll have more of like a better layout. It'll be more organized. Um, and I'll probably talk about, you know, the journey that I've taken to find out that I'm infertile because I think it's pretty intense and somewhat interesting. Not that I'm trying to tell my story for, um, uh, to go viral or anything like that. I just really wanted to create an outlet for myself and for other people when it comes to this. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of this video. If you know someone who's struggling with something similar to I am, maybe now you know what they might be experiencing. Because I can't speak for everybody. But I'm just guessing if everybody is as angry as I am, that some of those thoughts have probably popped up into their head. So, yeah, like I said, if you like this video, please like it and subscribe. I don't have any subscribers right now at this moment. So hopefully I'll get some and that just lets me know that I can keep producing this kind of content. Alright, thank you so much. Bye!